Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 12 through 14. And the quote is by William Mary and Branham from the message entitled, Believest Thou This? This message was preached on July the 16th, 1950. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Not long ago up in the mountains, I met a man, an old trapper, and he told me, he said, you're supposed to have a real education. He was a scientist, had been. And he'd come up there in the winter and went to trapping. He just liked it much better, so he just stayed because it was peaceful. And he said to me, he said, you believe that story about the virgin birth? I said, every word of it. He said, you don't really believe that, Billy. And I said, yes, I do, every word of it. He said, why, well, it's impossible. He said, he couldn't have been born like that. So that's against all scientific research. I said, I don't know what scientific research is against, but it's not against God's word. And I said, God said that he was his son, and I believe it. He said, well, it depends on who you think God was. If you want to say Joseph was God, it's all right. I said, Joseph was a man like you and I. But God is Jehovah, the Spirit of God, the Spirit that brewed over the earth. He said, oh, that's impossible. He said, Billy said, corn can't even make, or nothing. He said, no baby could be born without actual contact between male and female. I said, Grampy, I hate to dispute your word as an old man, but I said, you're wrong there. He said, you don't really believe that that baby was born. I said, I believe that Jehovah God overshadowed a little virgin called Mary and created in her womb a blood cell without knowing any man at all and from there came the Son of God. And we're not born in the, that by His righteous holy blood without sexual desire. He died at Calvary giving His blood that we could be free from sin. Brother, you believe that? If you don't, you're lost, that's all, because it's in the blood we're saved by the blood of God. The, we're the blood of our Father. Jesus was the blood of His Father, which was holy, unadulterated blood, not by sexual desire, but by holy uh, ghost was He born, conceived in the womb of Mary, and was born. I believe it with all my heart. He said, I just can't see that that could be so said, because it could not produce without actual contact. And he said, no, they had to be. I said, look, Grampy, will you admit to me then after a few days of argument, he met down there in a, in a little old cabin where there's a bunch of men, he started again. I said, will you admit to me that he had an earthly mother, but it's impossible for anything to be born on this earth without having literal father and mother? He said, that's exactly right. I was going to ask you something then. If you say it's impossible for him to be here by Jehovah God, the Creator, without an earthly father, yet you give him credit for having an earthly mother, then how did the first man get here without father or mother? He had to have a pappy mammy somewhere, let him be a tadpole monkey, whatever you want to call him. He had to have a papa and a mama, according to him. He's never answered me yet today. That's right, and he can't. God the Creator made man in His own image. That's the way I believe it. He said, well, Darwin said so and so. I haven't got faith enough to believe that. I just believe what God said about it. My faith is what the Lord said. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message-related content that we produce, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast 
or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.